losing streak for the first time since 1991. I'm Mike Hall and this is the State Farm Post Game Show. Let's show you the highlights of the game that just wrapped up here on BTN. Perry Hills back from injury and feeling good and throwing good too, but Riley Bullen not feeling good at all because he had a rough early part of this game. We're talking three personal fouls and that targeting, which is an ejection for the senior leader on the team. Less than three minutes left in the first quarter. Get her, little fella. Lorenzo Harrison goes eight yards for a score. The two-point conversion was good. It's eight to nothing Turks. Second quarter, now LJ Scott, who has really been disappointing in terms of rushing yards this year, but what a pretty darn good game. LJ Scott ends up with 128 on the ground, 48 of them, and a score right here. And the Spartans are now down by just one. Less than six minutes left in the half. Here's Hills, Jay Moore. Could I be more wide open? Maryland takes a 14-7 lead on that 36-yard score. But at the end of the half, Gerald Holmes takes the momentum away from Maryland, plowing into the end zone to tie things up at 14 at the break. Straight to the fourth quarter we go. Kenneth Goins with his team down by three early in the fourth. Touchdown. Maryland takes the lead back 21-17. Same score with a second and goal for the Terps. Three and a half to play. Hills to Lauren Jacobs. Another score, believe it or not, the two-game losing streak from Maryland is over. They get the victory, 28 to 17 is your final score. Here are the final numbers on Hills, 21 of 27 for 200, and 200 yards passing, add another 20 there receiving. We showed Laverne Jacobs, he ends up with nine catches for 67 yards and a score. But again, the big story is a team that last year made the college football playoff is now two and five overall in Michigan State. 0 oh, and 4 in Big Ten play, and they have lost five games straight for the first time the program has done that since 1991.